lot of transactions that are happening and therefore we probably can audit more of those transactions with a straight substantive procedural tests the same thing can be do, do true with the stockholders equity in other words we have small transactions number wise not a whole lot of transactions so we can audit uh, pretty much all the transactions and the transactions that are involved are typically all large dollar amount transactions so all the transactions that are there are things that we typically are going to want to audit want to do substantive procedural testing for and therefore although we will get an idea of the internal controls and the inherent risk we're probably going to be doing a lot of substantive testing no matter what our determination is about the controls and the inherent risk Auditor still needs to understand the controls that are in place to prevent the misstatement of equity transactions. So in other words, when we say that this is going to be a substantive type of procedural approach, we're going to take a substantive approach to su 